I'm busy wiring uh, this Flight 1 millivolt OSD into this FPV Flight Club Neutron with a, an Akon AK3220x20 ESC. This is my second millivolt OSD build, so I know what I'm doing here works. I am doing this to show you guys um, how you might want to wire it, and also for me for posterity, so when I do another one, I can just kind of refer to this video and remember how I did it. So it's pretty useful. Um, uh, let me tell you a couple of things here. The AK32, the Akon AK32 does not have a BC, so I'm relying on the two or I think it's one or two uh, five volt regulators on this guy for any five volt needs. And uh, I'm wiring in, uh, wired in a 470 microfarad 35 volt cap. This is gonna be a 6S build. I probably think a smaller 50 volt cap would be better but i don't have any um this guy fpv fic, uh, fpv pickering yeah at fpv pickering and on instagram offered to send me some i really appreciate it so i'll have some 50 volt caps very soon in the meantime uh sorry about the shaky camera i'm doing this with the phone so i can get close into what i'm doing uh with one hand and show you so i'll try to keep it as steady as possible let me tell you a couple of things then. Um, let's start with the VTX. This is a TBS Unify Pro 32, the new tiny one over here. Um, it is five volt and it uses quite a, not a lot of power. So it tends to work well with onboard regulators. Regardless, I am actually powering it from the GPS rail on, on the millivolt OSD because apparently I'm not sure because I'm not, come on phone. Um, I'm not sure because I don't do, um, I mean, I don't do any of this schematic stuff. I understand what some of the stuff is, but I think there's two regulators on it, but one of them is separate and it's a five volt there. And I use it to power the VTX. I used it on my other builds to power a Unify five volt 5G8. So it sure work fine with this. So that's standalone right there just to power that. Then the uh, OSD out. I mean the uh, yeah OSD uh, video out comes here. There's usually more wires here if you're gonna power uh, VBAT BTX. But since this is not VBAT, I'm just running one wire. Then smart audio is coming out of the CRSF Nano RX straight into the VTX, and I'm skipping the OSD altogether, which means that I'll be able to control channels from the module on my radio. If you have a micro TX, you can do it with Lua scripts. I have a full crossfire so i use it with the screen it's nice because you don't have to put the goggles on on kiss and on flight one that's what i do i just skip the osd altogether on beta flight i could do it too it's just i'm used to just using the osd and that's how i wired all of them this goes to a plug um for power and ground and video um i mean i'm sorry uh, power ground and signal and that goes to one of these two plugs just look it up in the diagrams you still have to uh, find out which one it is one of these two one is for spectrum the other one is for fr sky and similar uh this goes out to the camera which i'll have to put a bigger plug on it because it has a camera control over here but that's pretty much it for the uh for the camera and then uh, my wire harness here for the akon it's a little bit crossed over because of course we're going mil um flight one to akon and not flight one to flight one. So for example, my VBAT over here jumps over to that side and my ground over there. And then these uh, signal wires jump over. This one's out at the moment because this is my current wire. And I'm gonna figure out if it's gonna go to current or telemetry I'm actually asking in the group. So I gotta find that out. But as you can see, I'm using this to um, check my wiring for the for the um, ESC and then of course go online on flightone.com and find the schematics for the, um, I mean the pin, pin out diagrams for the Malibu OSD as you can see here. So it turns out the plug for, is that one, for Free Sky or for um, CRSF which in this case is what I'm using. Keep in mind it is not good to wire to RX3 because there's some problems with D-Shot if you use it. So I'm only running one wire for TX1, so no telemetry back. And as you see at the top and bottom here, <clears throat> you have to bridge those for what you're gonna do. So I'm using uh, CRSF, so there's no inversion like it is for FreeSky. So I'm bridging those two. 
and at the bottom I'm going to use uh, TX6 with BL 32 so I bridge those two you'll see it in a second as you can see my board here those are the you want to focus there you go. so these are the bridges one there and the other one there and yeah that's pretty much it the wire needs to be clean you can't touch the gyro you can't put anything between that and that because you definitely don't want to induce noise these gyros are very sensitive if you do all that pretty well it does fly really really well and there you have it that is uh, the wiring for the millivolt osd there's one small caveat that i want to add and it's the reason why this is still not wired yet because you have the option of wiring current or telemetry or both on the AK32, but you only get one option on the millivolt OSD. So over here, as you can see, I've bridged TX6 with current. So mainly this is done to send telemetry information. So technically I would use a telemetry pin to send telemetry to the TX6 pin and this will use that information but I'm not sure that works very well it's not working on my other quad it means uh, the numbers are off so I was just recommended that I run current instead of telemetry and unbridge these and bridge these two so bridge current with current TX6 instead of TX6 to current TX6 the reason for that if you do that you're wiring as if you were wiring via Heli S where you don't have ESC telemetry. You only get uh, just current and apparently that works well. And some of you guys might not like that and might want to find a way to make um, telemetry work. But for this for a racer, uh, for me at least, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be okay with just current. On some builds, I've wanted to run telemetry before, mainly for comparison, to compare builds to one another, motors and whatnot, so you can get RPM and temperature and all that crap. But for the most part, I rarely ever use that. So I'm not even going to bother. I'm just going to wire current straight to it, bridge the other two paths there, and uh, run it as if I were running a BL Heli S ESC, even though it isn't. And that is something you might want to consider. Mm -hmm.